everyone, welcome back to Lost Together Forever, Motorcycle Diaries. This is our third episode of uh, modding the uh, Continental GT 650. Uh, today what we're going to do is sort of tidy up the back end of it here. I have, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take off the, uh, the back fender, this uh, extension here, take that off. And as well, I have a seat cowl, a uh, Royal Enfield seat cowl for the back of the, uh, the seat here. So now, firstly, uh, for people that have interceptors, let me just explain to you that the seat cowl is made specifically for the uh, Continental GT. Now the seats are interchangeable between the two bikes, so if you so desire, if you have an interceptor and you want a seat cowl, you'll have to purchase uh, the seat from a, uh, a GT as well as the seat cowl. So otherwise this mod won't quite work for uh, interceptor owners in terms of the seat cowl, but it will work for the uh, elimination of this uh, tail. Now, uh, first thing we'll do the, the tail, we'll remove that. And uh, what you need for that is a, uh, an eight millimeter and a 10 millimeter and a Phillips. So let's get started on it here. Firstly, remove your license plate. This side piece that has the reflectors on it is a separate uh, piece. I'll show you just a second here. Okay. So, this piece that attaches onto the normally sits there. If you want to retain it, if your uh, laws of your country or whatever uh, demand that you have side reflectors on, then I'd suggest putting them back on. In uh, my case, I'm going to leave it off. It's going to go into the uh, the box of spare infield parts. Now, next up, we're going to move these two bolts here. That's a 10 millimeter socket on the back and a Phillips on the front. So, snap up that bolt. Not, that'll go back into the infield box as well. Now, it looks as though that uh, piece would just drop off, the tail piece, but it won't. There's two more bolts up inside here that hold the whole fender assembly to the um, tail light assembly. So that's an 8 millimeter socket. Now you need that. You'll have to retain that and reuse that. When you put the assembly back together, you'll find, or you'll see in just a second here, which is something that may give some people a bit of a, a pause because the wires for the tail light, as you'll see, two bolts come out. This plastic fender extension hangs down and it's held there by the tail light wires. Now we just pull the grommet out there to give you a bit of working room. Okay so we got the bolts out, drops down. You can see the fender's being held by the wire so we're gonna push the wires up through to give us a little more a little more room to move, and then we need to disconnect these. So we'll disconnect this guy here, just push the tab, pull them out. This guy here has this type of a clip. Uh, easiest way to defeat this clip is to put a little screwdriver in like that. There we go. There's the three wires done, so now we should be able to pull the wire down through the hole. Get out. 
I'll pass through the hole one at a time. chunk for the uh, infill box. Now we'll put this back together. Again. You can see up through this grommet here. So just start feeding them back up one at a time. Actually maybe this will just so this is all that rubber seal is, is this grommet here. And there's the hole there, so that's there we are like that. in. So let's go with the big, biggest plug first. He's going to have the most room. Pop him through. You can see it pop right through the hole. Hmm. Got our wires through. Attach this wire back up to the, there's a retaining clip and mold it in the bottom of the fender. That just sticks right there. Okay, now the large, flat, white one. Put that back together. Black to black. White to white. Make sure they're oriented the right way with the, uh, the top and the clip. Make sure you hear that snap. There we go. So, those are all there. I tuck those wires up inside. Those two, the two 8mm bolts that we took off from the inside now have to go in. If you have a look, make sure that the uh, the rubber seal sits flush because you want that to, don't want any water to be allowed in there. And then attach the bolts from underneath. The, uh, how it is here now. We still left over with these two holes on each side. Now I've tried to find some hole plugs. Uh, I know you can order them from online. If you're gonna buy a bag of 50 of them or whatever from China, it'll probably take six months to get here. But I just went to the local uh, uh, automotive place and they had these uh, body tight uh, screws, that, or sorry, not screws, but plugs. As you can see, they're just push-in plugs. And so uh, be aware that uh, once you put them in, they're not removable. So to get them out, you'll have to cut them. I may, I'll see how it looks. And uh, so yeah, just push them in like that on each side. Covers the hole. It's not quite, I'm not sure if I'll keep it like that or if I'll uh, get some other ones, but... I think it looks pretty good. Tidies it up some nice, nicely. So now we'll mount the plate back up. Okay, so that's that. All right, now part two, the uh, seat cowl. Now, this is uh, the seat cowl as it came from uh, Royal Enfield. Instructions. 
seat cowl, color matched, nice clean. Uh, it also comes with these finishing washers and the two bolts. Quite simple installation, I hope, we'll see. Uh, first step on this one is take off the side cover. button, cable, pop off the seat. The seat cowl itself, let's see, has a lip at the back here. So that has to go in like so and over top of the seat. Like that takes a three millimeter Allen wrench. Sorry, the uh, bolt goes on the washer. The washer. This goes like Try not to muck up the paint. My hands are still a little grubby from the tail. As you can see, the, the lip that I showed you before has to fit over the bottom of the seat, and that's that's all there is to it. Probably one of the coolest mods, the easiest mods. When you're installing the seat, make sure they have the uh, these front uh, tabs back in there. Back on. Reinstall the side cover. Now, to, to properly reinstall the side cover, uh, remember there's these two rubber grommets here and the pins on the side of the frame. So you have to sort of just take it and slowly and easily move it up, and then you'll find that the key will. Latch for the key will go in, no problem. So, to uh, recap uh, today, remove the fender or the extension of the fender on the rear and install the seat cowl. Uh, I gotta say that uh, I think that in terms of uh, any mods that I've done so far, uh, that really ties the bike in in terms of getting rid of the, uh, the fender and then installing the uh, the cowl really sort of completes the cafe look i think well it doesn't totally complete it because there's always something else that i'm planning but anyways uh out of all the mods that i've done this is the easiest most inexpensive these seat cowls are available uh from your dealer for probably a couple hundred bucks if you buy them online from uh, ebay from an indian seller probably a hundred bucks i think is what i paid for this guy and uh it, uh, it, it looks fantastic. Thanks again for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, if you're interested in uh, seeing where the uh, Royal Enfields are made, which is India, and uh, you'll probably see some of them in, uh, in their actual 
live habitat. Feel free to watch our other videos. Uh, we traveled around in India quite extensively in 2019 prior to the pandemic and uh, did a travel video, or quite a few travel videos from different parts of India. Uh, you see, if you've uh, watched the video this far and uh, enjoyed what you see, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions or comments, feel free to uh, comment in the comment section. Say we appreciate it. Uh, read every one of your comments and uh, answer any of your questions that we can. All right. So, uh, say if you've uh, watched it this far, let me see you say J Hind in the uh, description comment section. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. Lost together forever. Motorcycle Diaries.